Hello viewers, welcome to our next video session. In this session, we are going to discuss about Ajax in tabular form. You see, we have a tabular form here. We have a tabular form here. We are going to, and uh, here is the manager ID. Our idea is to uh, select an ID and the select the employees under that manager will be populated in this, in the EMP selection list. This is the list of all the employees, no matter which manager is uh, he is under. All the employees are selected here, but our uh, goal is to uh, select a manager here and the respective uh, employees will be populated in the EMP field. Now, the problem with the tabular form is that you cannot define, you cannot get the item name particularly. You see, uh, what is the name of this item? We do not know. Let's go to the page. We only have a set of columns, but uh, you, you cannot make any Ajax on this column. You cannot make any JavaScript call in these columns or you cannot make any dynamic action on this column. The main problem of uh, a tabular form is to take the item name so that we can refer we can refer to an Ajax call with, the, with that item. But in the tabular form, we do, not do, we do not have that. So what do I have to do? Here, what you will have to do is, you see, you see this is a, an HTML page. So this item must have some ID. So let's inspect the item. So this is the this is the item ID. You see F08 is the column name and F080001 is the cell ID. Okay. Now if I move here, then let's see what is the item ID. You see F080002. That means it is the F08 of the second row. Now what is this? Now let's inspect this one. This is F09. So, one thing is clear here that F08 and F09 is fixed, but the row number is not fixed, okay? So, we, we, we can decide that uh, if I take it as F08 as our input and this is the F09, we will take value from F, F08 item and put the value on the F09 item. And which cell is this? We will define, we will we'll discuss it in the JavaScript. So, let's, it will be F08007. So, what we can do to determine the ID? Let's read the ID ID name of the both and the value of the manager ID of the of that the particular cell. What? How can we do that? We can write JavaScript on that field. Okay. Let's write a JavaScript code. And here you can write a JavaScript code. To this. We'll go to the next. See, this is the item F08 underscore and F09 underscore. This is the input item, this is the output item, this is the item 1, this is the item 2. And we will read the item name and we will read the value of the item 1. So, let's save it. Now, let's see if this particular JavaScript works. So one uh, thing you have to do is you will have to, in the manager ID, you can here you see here in the advanced section we have defined a column attribute custom attribute which is on change equal to fn employee list, the name of the javascript function and this is this is the identifier of that particular item that is the this so let's save the page and let's run the page Let's see here. What is this? This one is F8 and this one is row number 2. Let's see if the value is returned like that. Okay, so this one. You see, F08 underscore 2 and F09 underscore 002. That is, this one is the input, this one is the output and both are of the same row. Okay, and whichever one is uh, selected here, this is Jennifer Wallen. So, we will show, we'll, uh, find the ID of that particular manager. This is the ID of that particular manager that is 200. Now, what we have found here is we have found the I item ID of both input and the output and we have found the value of the input item. Now, most of job is done. Now, you see, as we have uh, discussed earlier in our uh, other Ajax form, Ajax processes, 
we had created application processes. So now we'll have to create an application application process here as well for dependent select list. Okay, application process. You see, this is the dependent select one, and this is select dependent select list two. Here, what we have defined is you can uh, discuss in my earlier uh, Ajax session where I have discussed this process in detail. Now you see this is the uh, this is the fun, this is the actual query we are uh, dealing with, and this is the uh, employee ID and employee name from employees where manager ID is the apex underscore application underscore gx01. So the value that we have we pass in x01 will be here and this one is uh, this one will represent that value and we will generate a, a query like this and we will have a data set and then we will generate a json okay and we finally we have we will create a json string and we will return the json string that is http.prn we will return the json string to the javascript call so let's go to our javascript call here uh, what we have done is we have only uh, identified we have only identified the item to input item and output item we have identified the value of the input item now we will put this values into our main ajax call and the viewers uh, all these documents you can have in the in in the description of the video you can you can download the uh, document from there now let's copy as usual that we have done so far so this is our process you see this is the dependent select list this is the process name and this is the value of the item one that is the input value and data type is json and loading indicator is this is a bit tricky uh, this is a jquery syntax so i have generated a jquery syntax like this uh, hashtag within the uh, quotation plus item two this is the item that will be populated with the value so that item if i uh, create a uh, loading indicator there it will look better now if this is if the process is successful then it will return a value which is g return and now first we will have to empty the list and then we will populate the list with this one you see so this is uh, same as earlier we discussed this is everything is similar the only difference is this one ah, this is the only difference we have uh, seen so far and uh, this is the difference a little bit of difference here little bit of difference here but otherwise the process is same so let's save it and save it and run it so let's see if this one you see here all the employees are populated here but as soon as i select any of these managers will see the change in the employee field so let's stephen king this is the item 100 you see this is the loading integrator and now these are the okay now let's change to john russell you see this is also changed now let's change here say human bezer you see this is the indicating the no is the manager of nobody shelly okay okay only one so our process is complete it is very simple it is as simple as the earlier one 
but the only difficulties that we have is to identify the item in the JavaScript and that is very simple one. And remember this type of JavaScript, this type of tabular form is existed up to 5.0 only. From the 5.1, the tabular form, the type of tabular form is uh, different. They have uh, introduced um, interactive bridge there. Uh, so this particular uh, process will be applicable up to 5.0 only. Remember this one. Okay. So thank you for watching. Thank you everybody.